Hey there, good people of the YTPC. It's Harriet Herfer and... Nope, flying solo tonight. He's not here. I just wanted to hop on here because I had a couple of yabos. And also, I wanted to share a little um, thing that uh, Hugh figured out at the brick and mortar that we went to the other day. And it was kind of a cool idea. So you guys may already know this, but I'm going to share it with you just in case you don't. I thought it was a really cool idea. So I'm going to start off with that first and get these out of the way. Um, this is, Hugh and I each have one of these. I'm going to have little handles. Got them in a, at a, um, oh, yeah. Like a, uh, what do you call it? Mm, I don't know. We got it at a store. What can I say? It was from a craft store. That's it. And um, it's actually for, for decoration, I guess. But. What Hugh figured out was, and I will show you, as you can see his pipes are are kind of in there very nicely, um, for the most part, except for the center ones. But <clears throat> if you were to go to a uh, cigar shop, <clears throat> they have um, some alcohol-infused cigars, and um, um, for instance, like a Maker's Mark, and they have them in um, their own individual tubes. And, oh my gosh, he's got this in here so good. I'm never going to get it out. Um, so, we were sitting there the other day, and the brick and mortar that we were at was getting ready to, I guess they were cleaning up. They are getting ready to throw these away. So, each of those cigars that I'm talking about have a, their own individual little case, and this is what they were going to throw away. Hugh just chopped it off, and measured in here and chopped it off and hooked his pipes up and so they can go in there individually like that and keeps them all from knocking into each other and keeps it looking a little bit more tidy too. So if you guys get a chance to uh, snack, snack some of those before they pitch them, it's really a good idea. And um, just a little note to Sean Panzer, I took that tamper out before I showed it to you guys so there you go putting it back in now though John you can't see it there it is anyway so let's get to the yabos I'm gonna do this one first um I don't I don't know this person I mean I think I know what's in here <clears throat> but I don't know for sure I'm hoping it's a yabo because I've never gotten anything from this person before so let's see what it is. I didn't need my knife for that piece tape on it. <clears throat> yep, that's what I thought it was. Okay, so let me get the, there's a, a note. A sample for two. Hmm, I might share with you. Let's see. Well, this is from Duke City Piper. Um, I watched his uh, channel and he had, it was Vulcan Sobrani, Virginia number 10, I think it was. Um, it was, um, I think it has cigar leaf in it, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and, huh, it's 36 years old. And, um, oh, nice. And, uh, he sent you a nice sample. I'm kind of excited about it. That would be the oldest tobacco that either one of us have ever tried. Even close to anything that we have is that that is that old there's nothing why it is not food i'm sorry can I smell mm, really smoky leather mm. and a little spicy maybe that's exciting oh that smells really good i will not um i will not be able to smoke it tonight though it's very cold out and we don't smoke um, anything but aromatics in the house but um, I'm gonna be taking that with me to the brick and mortar and I'm gonna be giving that a try for sure thank you very much Duke City Piper you have no idea how excited I am to try that Boy, look at him. 36 year old tobacco I think it was if I'm not mistaken if I'm wrong uh, Duke City Piper please let me know but I think it was 36 years old something like that so mm -mm -mm. thank you and then, 
The next one is, I do need my knife for this one. <clears throat> the next one is from the Gaw that I won. This is, if anybody cares, my spider coat that I carry with me all the time. I won, um, I was very fortunate to win Clayton Orr Jr.'s giveaway that he had. And boy, he just had that giveaway a few days ago. And there it was on my porch today. So, man, that was fast. Got a little note. Oh, there's some samples in there. From Clay and Jen. Well, thank you very much, Clay and Jen. I was so excited that I won. So, oh. Oh. GLP's Gaslight. I don't think I've tried that. Oh, my. Oh, nice. Oh, man. That smells really good. That smells a little bit like um, Clayton. Oh, not Clayton. Oh, gosh. I've got Clayton's name in my head. Uh, Clint, the Frozen Vacky Blunders, one of his that I've tried. That reminds me of that. that pirate. It's a pirate plug, I think. I have two of them that he that he made, so oh my gosh, that smells really good. What else? But wait, there's more. Kramer's Father Dempsey. Never, never. I've seen other people have it on their channel, smoking it on their channel. Oh man. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what's I mean I know what's in it a little bit, but I don't know the exact. Oh. That's got something in it that I can't put my finger on. But um, I'm definitely going to put it in a pipe and smoke it. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. There's more than a few samples in here. Clayton, what did you do? Let's see. Poplar Camp? I've never heard of that. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh. That smells a little burly-fied to me. There's some Virginia in there and some burly. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up because I have zero clue. Again, I'm excited. I've never, never even heard of that one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what's this one? Okay, Bayou Night, I have heard of, and I, I might have tried this. I think I have tried this one, and I really liked it. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That smells good. I think I think that's one of the ones that I liked that I tried. Thank you. I will definitely try it again. That would be horrible, wouldn't it, to have to try it again? Okay. I'm not even showing you guys these. These are actually these aren't little samples either, guys. Look at that. Look at all these. I should have been showing them to you. These aren't small little samples. I've never heard of Mad Fiddler Flake. Nice. Oh man. Um, so far I haven't I haven't uh I haven't went ew to any of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I've had H&H &H Burley Flake. I have not had Cornell and Deal Burley Flake. Oh, that smells nice. I like the smell of that. Oh, and we've been kind of into Burley lately, too, so. I'm definitely excited about trying that one, too. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of samples, dude. It's one, two, three, four, six. Six. Yeah, six samples. That was a few. That's that's a big few. Think. Oh wait a minute. Sorry. Seven samples. Seven. New Minster number four hundred. Superior Navy Flake. Oh my goodness. Where have I been that I don't know where I don't know about these? To which tobacco are you referring to? I have not heard of any of these. Oh, I've heard a couple of them, but... Oh, 
Oh, that smells fantastic. Oh, I really appreciate the opportunity to try these. Because if you don't know, if you've never tried them, you don't know. It's the Try Before You Buy program on the YTBC. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That is fantastic. I may not air this so Hugh doesn't know about any of these. So I have to keep it to myself. Shh. Now this is one I don't think I've tried either. The P uh, this is um this is what um, I won in the GAW. Uh, the University Flake of Peterson. Oh, that sounds really good too. I'm excited to try that. This one is that is one that um, he and I were just talking about like two days before you did your draw. So I'm kind of excited. I, th I think though I'm going to just let that kind of simmer in the simmer in the bucket in there in the bucket. Well, I call it a bucket. <laughs> we're going to keep it let it let it uh, let it age in there a little bit. And this one I have not tried either. Although I've heard that it's I've heard that it's very good. I'm kind of excited to try that too. Made a burly Virginia Black Cavendish and Latakia. Well, that doesn't sound too bad at all, does it? All the things that I love in life. And then, if that wasn't enough, turn it around the right way. Oh, oh. What a nice size bowl. I personally do not have this one. <clears throat> However, that's really nice. I like that. I just love the Bones pipes and how they're, each one of them are unique. I just, I love the way they color up. I don't have, this isn't my box, or I'd show you the one that, uh, that I have that's, ugh. I have one of them that's coloring up so nice. It's just beautiful. This is really, this is really cool. Thank you so much, Clayton. Very much appreciated. Um, and I hope you don't mind, but I am going to give this one to Hugh. And the reason being isn't because I don't love it, because I do. See, this pipe makes me look good. Um, the reason being is that I have four Bones pipes and he only has one. And the reason he only has a one, I don't even see it in here. Oh, what happened to his bones pipe? Oh, no. I don't know even know where it is. Must be in his bag, his, uh, his to-go bag. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he only has one, um, but it is beautiful. A volcano that we had the stem made for. He he got the uh, the 20, that little shorty, the little oom-polish type, and uh, he, it just wasn't for him. He didn't like it, and he gave it to me. So that made, uh, made me have four pipes, bones pipes. So I think I'm going to get I'm sure he will appreciate it very much. So I'll keep the tobacco. He can't have any of that. <laughs> That's not true. And I'll give him the pipe. So I think that seems good since since uh, since I have so many. But thank you very much. Very, very much. Some goodies in here for sure. Man, that was I was so excited when I won. I was so very happy. And, and if it wasn't good enough with all the stuff I won, then bags of backy which makes it even better. Thank you so much, Clay. Very much appreciated. And then also, thank you again for this wonderful, sir. That old Sobrani, I like the fact that you sent this with it. It's kind of cool too, Mr. Duke City Dave. A Duke City Dave, Duke City Piper, Duke City Dave. I had Dave Piper on my mind. So thank you very much, you guys very much appreciated and um yeah I mean, he will be happy when when he gets home and finds out that i'm going to give him that pipe too so that'll make him extra happy so man we know what we're doing i know what we're doing this weekend we're going to go to the brick and mortar and we're going to try some of this nice tobacco these burleys english and all this stuff oh my gosh I'm kind of excited to see how that the the cult the embassy is so yeah you guys I know a lot of you guys have tried it, but I haven't tried it yet, so. The only thing I've ever tried is their, um, Blood Red Moon and, uh, Abacus are the only two I've tried. So, and I like them both, so. I've heard that 
they don't make a bad tobacco, so I'm kind of excited. So thank you guys very much. Um, I do shout out um, most of my videos. So let's let's shout out because he has um, um, under 100. I'm gonna shout out Duke City Piper. So I'll put his information in the bucket. I will also put uh, Clay's information in the bucket. So you guys can check him out because he has a great channel. Both, both guys have a great channel. So thank you very much, you guys. You all take care. Go sub a newbie. Check out these guys' channels. You won't be sorry. They are awesome. And I will catch you later, Taters.